I think is really changing things, it's like totally amazing, is little devices like this, which can shoot video and not only save it locally, but stream it live to the web. So I've been doing a lot of video, a lot of video shooting, and I think that being able to stream live from wherever you are is, is, is a big deal. Um, so I've been experimenting with it, with citizen reporting for a, a citizen journalism website called The Uptake, and I did a lot during the, ele the election with Obama, streaming from New Hampshire and Massachusetts during the election. And what I used was a combination of tools to do a broadcast with citizen journalists with no big media involved. So we had reporters in Minnesota, Colorado, and me in Massachusetts. And the way it worked was there was a host in Colorado and they would say, hey, here we are in Colorado. Let's go to Minneapolis and we use some software called Mogulis, which is like a switcher on a computer, and they hit a button and it brings up the webcam of the other person and they're talking. And the breakthrough thing that I thought of was, instead of using a webcam, I'm streaming video on this cell phone, couldn't they sw switch over to me? And that technology didn't exist, so I actually got the head of Quick, Baskar, and the head of Mogulis, Max, I said, hey guys, I would like to stream live from the street into this broadcast that people are doing from inside their houses. So they developed the technology and made it work so that I could stream live and join that broadcast. So on um, the primary in Massachusetts on Tuesday, they're like, okay, now we're going to go to Steve Garfield who's on the street and you know, without a satellite truck or anything and here I am streaming live into that broadcast. The big change is that you know TV has been one way and they're broadcasting at us and we're just sitting back passively consuming the content. And what this introduces is the audience being able to talk back and actually have a conversation and engage the people who are producing the news and be, being able to affect the coverage. I mean, it's, it's just, so on the web we're used to it. You know, video blogging, you get comments and you go live on Ustream and people chat, but TV really, it isn't doing that too much. So I think that as they embrace the audience, you know, and find that, you know, the audience is smarter than they are, or the knowledge is in the, cr the crowd, they'll be getting a lot of really interesting things happening. So when you bring in just other people and you, it's more live and authentic and real, like in the web, we all know it. And I think that TV could be a lot more entertaining and exciting if they include, you know, more people. Just this month, I did a test with New England Cable News. It's a huge snowstorm, and they also use Mogulis. And so the way they use Mogulis is it's in the weather station, and the guy who's going to be on TV in the weather, he's streaming live to the web, and he's on a camera. He's like, hey, here we are. We're getting our reports. Oh, I'm about to go live. Hang on. And then he'd be like, here we are on New England Cable News. We'll see you later. And then that went live on TV, and then he's back talking to the web. So what we did was I had my quick streaming live, I went outside with a yardstick and I wanted to measure the <laughs> depth of the snow. So I gave my wife the camera, she was my camera person, I measured the depth of the snow and that went from quick to Mogulis to New England Cable News and then the on-air anchor said, okay, hi everybody, we're here at New England Cable News. Um, let's look at these photos people have sent in. You know how they do that on TV. And then they said, now we're going to try something new. We're going to go to Steve Garfield in Boston, who is streaming live from a cell phone. And then they cut to me, and I said, here we are, and I measured the snow, because it's like a funny thing to do, eight inches. And that went quick to Mogulis, to New England Cable News, on TV. Mm -hmm.